What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Midnight Invader here and we are back with the Weapon Equip System 2.0 review. Uh, I went ahead and loaded up the default map that it comes with. Uh, if you're having troubles finding that, just click on the weapons and then click on Showcase. Yeah, there she is. But we'll jump right into this. We got animations which is just like the inventory system running off third person. And just like the third person, guess what, guys? Yes, you, it creates a whole nother photo that you got to migrate over, the joys of that. Uh, but anyway, we got the blueprints here, uh, the weapons, same vice versa. If you want to implement these weapons into the game, make sure there's the blueprints. Or if you want to make your own, which is like a gun or something, which would be good for the weapon packs of the guns, then just follow this. So you could actually change the mesh to that, and you know, if you don't want to use these swords. But anyway, uh, we got the character, which is third person, elements, environment, what do we got in here? Uh, we just got the materials and the meshes and the textures, all that good stuff. So we'll jump right into this and hit play. You notice down here, it says use number keys or mouse wheel to scroll to selected weapon. I personally changed that because I did not like that. Hold R to shield weapon. Hmm. Anyway, we'll go ahead and go and get weapon one. It starts on our back, so we'll go ahead and press one. Uh, I got rid of this little thing at the top of the screen where it shows what weapon you have. That's tedious, I think. Uh, but we'll go ahead and test this. Hold R. Puts it back on our back. That's weapon one again. We don't want weapon one. Uh, let's go ahead and get weapon two. So now we got two weapons on our back. We got weapon two and weapon one. If we hit two on the keypad, on my case, a mouse. Uh, we have weapon two wield. We switch one. We've got the one. We go ahead and hold R, and they both go on the back. And we have weapon three. The only thing is, you can't hold more than two weapons at a time. So, you know, like I don't have weapon. My weapon one is now the weapon three. My weapon two is still the same, but can't hold three weapons. You can change that if you wanted to, but nah, nah, I ain't gonna do that. Uh, but here's weapon three. It's actually one, but. Here's weapon two. Pretty cool. Just walk over, pick it up. I actually changed it to where you actually have to press E. But that is that. We'll go ahead and look at these weapons very clearly. I don't want to look at the blueprint one. Look at the mesh. So here we got the battle axe. It's very small, but it is quite detailed, I guess. Uh, looks like a battle axe. Here's a spear. Which I guess I could use. You could use this for like spearing fish or something if you wanted that in your game, or you could use it as a regular weapon. Uh, here we got sword one. Just plain sword. Here's sword three. Now there is a. So let's see if I can find this. Hold on one second. Uh, where did I put that? Well, she. on different characters ah oh, heck I might delete it anyway we'll quit talking about that sorry about that um but overall this this equip equip system is pretty good uh like I said in the last one I wish it wouldn't put in different folder units to migrate it over because see when you take say if you wanted to use this equip system and the blueprint uh inventory system uh, we'll just, I mean, this, this is all the, well, let's see, you don't, don't need that one. This is just the inventory system for the equip system. So if you add all this together, see actually right here, you could, you could set these to where you could add more more weapons on your back at once um but if you add all this and then you add the other one it's with a blueprint inventory system you're gonna have to change the key 
Oh, you're going to have to change the walk up to the E button. Just like you would have to grab the rock or the log or whatever. You would have to grab the sword. If not, then it would mess up the other blueprint to where when you walk over any rock or any log, you're picking it up. And you might not, you know, that would just, that would just, nobody wants that. You want to, if you want to pick it up for a reason. But that is about it for this. Um, make sure. Yeah. So that will about wrap it up for this one, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And hope I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, make sure to check the description if you want the out of 10 review. Uh, but anyway, thanks, guys. And hope to see you next time.